Hello all. Today we will discuss what is new and discontinued in Exchange 2019. First let's see what's new when upgrading from Exchange 2016 to Exchange 2019. Exchange 2019 can be installed on Windows Server Core. Completely rebuilt search infrastructure allows for indexing of bigger files and better search performance. DAG failover is now significantly faster and more reliable. Database Engine in Exchange 2019 now takes advantage of the latest storage hardware including larger disks and SSDs. A major change is Exchange 2019 supports up to 256GB of memory and 48 CPU cores. You can now configure Do Not Forward for calendar invites without any need for IRM deployment. It will prevent attendees from forwarding the invitation to other people, and will allow only the organizer to invite additional attendees. Exchange 2019 provides better out-of-office features. You can now add an event to calendar that shows you as out-of-office. There is a quick option to cancel or decline meetings which will happen while you are away. One of the best features is that PowerShell commandlet remove calendar events enables admins to cancel meetings that were organized by a user that has left the company. It saves a lot of time for the admins. Also now you can assign calendar delegate permissions via PowerShell using add folder permissions commandlet. Email address internationalization is now supported and email addresses that contain non-English characters can now be routed and delivered. Now let's see what's new and upgrading from Exchange 2013 to Exchange 2019. Comparing to Exchange 2013 now there are only two server roles, Mailbox and Edge Transport. Unified messaging role has been removed and Mailbox role now includes all components of the Exchange 2013 Mailbox and Client Access roles. An important change is Exchange 2019 now allows to proxy traffic from Exchange 2013 client access servers to Exchange 2019 mailboxes. It makes Exchange 2013 and 2019 coexistence easier. Outlook web app is now known as Outlook on the web. It has been optimized for tablets and smartphones with several new features. Moppy over HTTP is now the default protocol that Outlook uses to communicate with Exchange. You can now use in place eDiscovery to search public folders and can put an in place hold on public folders. There is one caveat though, currently you can search in place a hold on all public folders only but not on a specific public folder. In compliance search, now there's no limit on the number of mailboxes that can be included in single search or on the number of searches that can be run at the same time. However, it can be run through EMS only. The last and best feature is search architecture is now asynchronous and decentralized. It distributes the work across multiple servers and keeps retrying if any servers are too busy. The search results are returned more reliably and faster. Lastly, let's see what has been discontinued in Exchange 2019. Unified messaging has been removed and Microsoft is recommending to migrate to Skype for business cloud voicemail. As previously discussed, compared to Exchange 2013, Client Access Server Role has been replaced by Client Access Services that run on the Mailbox Server Role. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel to get notified on future videos.